and I'll take care of the rest of it. And uh, and I thought, well, okay. So I grabbed my Bible and I went to the little music area we got in the house and I sat down in this old rickety chair and I thought, well, Lord, now what? I know, I knew for a minute that He wanted me to to look at a Bible verse, but I didn't realize that the Bible verse would end up being the, the song. And what was on my heart at the time was the fact that America and the world, quite frankly, is just uh, going in a direction that God probably wouldn't approve of, I, That's right. I think. That's right. And uh, so I immediately turned to my, turned to my uh, thought in my head, and I said, you know what, if my people which are called by my name, and I really didn't know the whole verse. I knew part of it. And so I, I Googled it. What verse is that? And I found out it was Second Chronicles 7.14. And so I started reading it, and I thought, wow, that's, that's us. You know? And I got to thinking, and I got to playing, and then all of a sudden uh, what I'm about to play just kind of rolled out. But before I sing it, I'm going to go ahead and forewarn y'all, we're all going to sing it here in a minute because y'all have the words because you brought your Bibles tonight. But before I go any further, I want to just talk just a little bit more uh, about it. 2 Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Praise God. Amen. And that's what my King James Bible tells me. Amen. And I'm going to tell you that it didn't matter at the time. I called Brother Lloyd this, this morning earlier and I wanted to seek his counsel on something before I said it to a group of people. And uh, fortunately, he says, you know what, Brother Eric, you're right. Because I know that even though that God spoke these words to Solomon and the people in Israel at the time, that God... Uh, there's three things about the Bible in regards to its context. There's historical context, there's prophetical context, and there's spiritual context. That's right. And as it pertains to this particular verse, well, history is history. We can't do anything about it. But God was the God of yesterday. He's the God of today. Right. He's the God of tomorrow. Amen. Amen. That's right. And what I'm proud of is to know that my Bible tells me not only what happened in history, but it's, it also tells us what's going to happen in the future. Right, and the amen. same God is the same God amen. of the Bible today as it is tomorrow. Amen. So I'll tell you that when I put it up against that 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 litmus test, then this passes this passes in my book. So as I read this verse, I can only think that God means that for us as well, yeah. because if we shall humble ourselves. And we pray and we seek God's face and turn from our evil, wicked ways, then God will hear our prayers. That's right. You know Promises. what? He may not heal our land physically, but I think that He could do even better than that, and that's heal the heart of the people that's, that's in right. this country. Amen. 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 So Amen. I don't I didn't mean to get on a soapbox, but I'm gonna tell you that's what's on my heart. Amen. And um, the word is I I'm gonna read one more quick thing. You know, in first John, I was thinking about this. In 1 John 1.1, 1, 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. And the same was in the beginning with God. So again, that kind of goes back to what I said earlier. This Word was God, and, the, and it, was, it was the beginning. It was God. Nothing's changed. Only the heart of our people, of people, have changed. So y'all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this for you. This is God's words. But I want you to go ahead and turn in your Bible to 2 Chronicles 7, 14. I'm going to sing this tune for you. And then what I'd like for you to do is I want to see if you can pick up the tune and sing it with me. I'll tell you a little bit more about the coincidence of this whole situation. Is Brother Tim had this in his garage and brother Lloyd told me earlier he says Eric you're not going to believe this but they're going to actually hang a sign up with what you're going to sing about tonight so brother Tim I don't know where you are but we sure do appreciate you thank you amen y'all I'm going to sing this and see if you can catch on 
And if you don't mind, if you can, I want you to, I want you to stand up as we read and sing God's Word. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and see my face and turn from their wicked ways, then when I hear from heaven, we'll forgive their sin, we'll heal their land. Sing it again. Which are called by my name Shall humble themselves And pray and see my face And turn from their wicked ways Then will I hear from heaven And will forgive their sins And will heal their land One more time If my people which are called by We'll forgive their sins. We'll heal their land. We'll forgive their sins. We'll heal their land.